Hey there, parents! Within our Bridges math curriculum, there are certain mathematical models that students use across the grade levels. One of the reasons for that is that they build their understanding of those models, but also they increase their efficiency in using those models, as a result becoming much better mathematicians. The model I'm going to talk to you today about is the ratio table model. I'm going to show you how they use it in third grade, going up to fifth grade, so you have a better understanding of the ratio table model, and also so you have a better understanding of how our curriculum works. So, let's get started. A ratio table is a model that represents equivalent ratios. It can be used as a tool to solve problems that involve multiplication, division, fractions, and proportions. I'll be focusing mainly on using ratio tables for multiplication. In this third grade problem, there is a ratio of six treats per one bag, and students are trying to find out how many dog treats are in seven bags. Notice that the numbers are fairly small and basic. The ratio table for this problem shows the number of treats for different numbers of bags. We've begun the problem by writing six treats go into one bag. Essentially, students will see in this problem that they are multiplying by six, or skip counting upwards by six. So for two bags, students really are multiplying the two bags by the six treats per bag to get 12. Students will continue on by multiplying by six, or skip counting by six, until they get up to seven bags. They will then get an answer of 42 treats. In this fourth grade problem, you can see that the numbers are quite larger, but we are still dealing with multiplication. Also, it's important to know that some ratio tables might be based on a word problem, like the last one, but some are simply just used for solving basic numerical problems that don't have any context. In the ratio table in this example, each number at the left is multiplied by 32 to produce the number at the right. Students working with the ratio table use what they know to calculate products they don't know. In this case, students know that 1 times 32 equals 32, and can then use that to formulate that 10 times 32 is really just moving over by 1 power of 10 to make 320. In fourth grade, students also learn to have products. So they can then have the 10 to make 5, and the 320 to make 160. From here, students would add the partial products from 10 times 32, 5 times 32, and 1 times 32 to find the product of the original question, 32 times 16. They would then find their answer, or as we call, their product of 512. In this fifth grade problem, students continue to practice multiplying multi-digit numbers. These numbers are quite bigger going from fourth grade to fifth grade, but ratio tables are still used in a similar but more advanced way. In this particular problem, students use a ratio table to find the product of 45 times 44. They multiply 2 times 45 to get 90. Starting in fourth grade and moving into fifth grade, students learn to double their numbers. So, they double their 2 to get 4, and double their 90 to get 180. They can then use their knowledge of the power of 10 to find that 45 times 40 is 1,800. From here, they just have to add the partial products of 45 times 40 and 45 times 4 to get their final product, or answer, of 1,980. So as you can see, the ratio table is a fantastic model for solving multiplication problems, division problems, and more, and you can see that it builds in numbers and strategies over time, but the model remains consistent. Well, parents, I hope that that information was helpful for you about ratio tables and how our models work. Thanks so much for joining with us, and we'll see you next month for our April math video.